So uh, when it comes to partition theorem or these partition trees, it, it is obvious that the major work of proving or obtaining these data structure is actually proving the partition theorem because that's just heart of the problem. As I said, unfortunately, partition theory, partition theorem has complicated uh, constructions and proofs. Uh, using some algebraic sets, it is not too difficult to prove it because after many years, you know, there have been some improvements and, and simplifications, but it is still beyond the scope of this, this course. What I can tell you is a fun construction. This is called 3-4 partition. So this was the, one of the earliest partition trees that was discovered. And it uses a very nice uh, topology theorem that I'm gonna, that I like to talk about. And it's very funny and accessible. Okay. So here it is. Imagine that I have a set of endpoints. Okay, so let's say this is the set of endpoints that I have. So I have 16 points here, I think, no, 20 points. Um, well, it is easy. Let's say the points are in general position, so they don't have the same x-coordinates and whatnot. Um, well, you can cut them in half in by a vertical line, right? So if we, can, we pick a vertical line that's 10 points here, 10 points here. So that's super easy. Um, it turns out that you can even do something cool now, and that is you can find another line that divides the left half, the left side in half, and the right side in half. So something like this. So now there's five points here, five points here, five points here, and five points here. So every quadrant has five points in them. Okay. You can always do this. Um, the existence of L2 exists because of a particular theorem known as a ham sandwich cut. Basically, this theorem says that if you have two sets of points in the plane, you can find a line that divides both of them in half at the same time. So before we had two sets, the left set and the right set, each one had 10 points in them. By this theorem, I can find a line that divides both of them in half. Why is it called the ham sandwich cut theorem? It's because... Uh, because of a particular interpretation of it. In general, in, in d-dimensional space, if you have a subset made from, if you have d subsets, you can cut all of them in half using a line. So typically this is expressed as a ham sandwich cut. Imagine that in three-dimensional space, you have a sandwich that is made from ham, bread, and cheese. So that's three ingredients. Since it's a three-dimensional sandwich, we can cut it with a line or with a knife, with a straight line, in such a way that each half contains half of the cheese, half of the bread, and half of the ham. Of course, in 2D, because we have in two dimensions, we can have two ingredients. So we can have the Liverpostein here and then the Rubrat. And if you have a sandwich made with these two ingredients in two-dimensional space, you can cut, cut it in half using a line such that um, each half essentially receives half of the ingredients. Okay. But in general, this theorem is true for d-dimensional space. Interestingly, in 2D, you can prove it. Um, it's not too difficult to prove it in 2D, but in higher dimensions, the, the proof that I know is topological, and it uses a certain topological theorem known as Borsukulam theorem. But assuming the existence of this ham savage cut, then we can get this 3-4 partition. The interesting thing about this 3-4 partition is that if you draw any line in the plane, obviously the, any line can intersect three of these quadrants, right? Because you cannot draw a line that intersects all four. It has to go something like this to intersect all of the four quadrants created by two lines. So therefore, crossing number of any line is at most three. So that gives you, let's say, a recursive formula for that goes like this. Because now if you want to count the number of points, say inside this half plane, you only need to recurse in three of the four subsets. And you know that, for example, here you would ignore this subset here. So recursion becomes three times n over four. There are exactly n over four points in each subset, which using master theorem solves to this. Um, so that's actually if, you know, it's quite fun. Um, but as I said, in general, the the correct or the best known partition theorems can do r here and roughly square root r over there. So and three and four is a little bit off from that ratio.